Hi everybody, my name is Tracy and my channel is Curvy Girl Makeup and I am thankful for every one of you that is watching me. Bye. You just my type, not just one night Trying to do this right for the rest of my life You don't know you're beautiful, what are you blind girl? Smiling at the girl, you ain't gotta be shy girl Beautiful, in and out, trying to make you my girl Doing everything I can to bring you into my world Yeah, show you the finer things, not materials Talk about what time can bring, listen Everyone else in the room can see Hi everybody and welcome back to Curvy Girl Makeup I cannot believe we're into November already. One more month and this year will be over. And 2015, here we come. So today I bring you my fall haul. Yeah, I like how that rhymes, my fall haul. Anyway, this is some of the stuff that I have been collecting over the last few months that you haven't seen me on YouTube. It has been so busy between the summer and then fall activities and Halloween and here we are in November. So anyway, I did collect quite a few things over the past few months, so I would like to share them with you. So I have a lot of stuff, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the MAC stuff first because that's the smaller part of the haul. Uh, I tried to get stuff from their uh, Rocky Horror collection, but unfortunately it was mostly sold out online, and um, my store didn't have it, unfortunately. Uh, I walked in in the morning, and I saw no stuff, and I was like, what's going on? And they said, we didn't get the stuff that's only at select standalone stores. So unfortunately, at my Macy's Mac counter, I was not able to pick up anything. And the lipsticks were sold out online, and everything was sold out online. So anyway, I only picked up a couple things, but I did get other stuff in the meantime. So, some of the stuff I got were, I did get three of their lip pencils. And the colors I got are Strip Down, Subculture, and Vino. And I will swatch them for you. Subculture is like a 1990s brown neutral color. And it swatches like this. Actually, this is Strip Tease or Strip Down. Did I say Subculture? Uh, this is Strip Down. This is the lip pencil that is said that um, Kim Kardashian wears. So this is stripped down. The next one is subculture and it's more on the pinky brown side. It's a nude but it's more a little bit more pink in it than stripped down. And I'll swatch it so you can see this is a little bit more pink that's got a little bit more brown so this is subculture. And the last one I got is a uh, vino, vino, like wine vino, and it is a wine color. It looks dark in the pencil, but when you swatch it, it is definitely a very nice burgundy wine color. Love it. Can't wait to wear it. And why does your nose always have to itch when you're filming? questions of life, right? So the next two things I got from MAC are lipsticks because I cannot keep myself from buying a MAC lipstick. And the two colors I got were Sin and Living Legend. And Sin, I think, was in the Rocky Horror Picture Collection, but it was sold out. But it is a permanent pro color, I think. So I figured, no, I don't have the packaging, but at least I'll have the lipstick. Oops. Sorry about that. Anyway, this is Sin, and Sin is a matte. And it is a rich burgundy color, like a burgundy brownie burgundy. It's got a lot of brown in it. It's not so much as plum. It's got more brown. These are beautiful fall colors. I love them for the fall. This, uh, the one I'm wearing is... I want to say Viva Glam 1, I believe, from MAC. I just love MAC's lipsticks. They're wonderful. And this one is Living Legend. And they almost looked exactly the same. When you swatch them, 
you can see Living Legend is a little bit more burgundy and a little bit darker than Sin. So this one's Sin, this one's Living Legend. Look at that swatch. What the heck's wrong with me? Girl, get it together. So those are the two lipsticks I got. I also got, they sent me this one, a little freebie, I guess. Um, oh, and can you see my new dresser? Well, it's not brand new, but it's used furniture, but it's new to me. It actually has a mirror I can stand in and get dressed in front of, and I can display my perfumes. So happy. Anyway, this is the MAC Prep and Prime uh, Skin Base. It's a, uh, just a skin base, Prep and Prime, for your skin. Helps your makeup last longer. So that they sent me free. And now the three things that I got from the Rocky Horror Collection. The first thing is, and isn't this packaging adorable? And that's just not the best of it. When you open up the packaging, you take the product out, look at the packaging in, oop, inside the box. There's Frankenfooter and, and pictures of everybody. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Mac did a great, great job on this packaging. Anyway, this is the first thing that I bought. It's got the typical Rocky Horror lips on it, and this is just gold glitter. It's not really chunky, and it's not really fine. I would say it's like maybe small grade glitter, but it is gold. I do have Max gold glitter, but I wanted stuff with the packaging, so I picked up the glitter. So now I have enough gold glitter for six lifetimes. Anyway, moving on. I got the Rocky Horror Picture Show packaging of the MAC Invisible Setting Powder. And again, awesome packaging. Look at the box. Isn't that crazy? I don't want to throw the boxes away. And this is their white setting powder. That's all it is. But it's got the Rocky Horror on the lid. Love it. Love the packaging. And I did want to buy this setting powder anyway because I had it a long time ago and it ran out and never picked it up. So that's a pretty big box or a pretty big package. It's um, 30 grams of product. So that'll last me a long time. So at least I have it in the Rocky Horror packaging. And the last thing I got from MAC and from the collection is the six pan eyeshadow palette. And again, it comes in the cute box with the packaging and the colors, if I can get it open, look like this. And I will read them to you in order. This one is Oh Rocky. This one is Crystal. And this is a frost. Crystal is also a frost. Blackberry is a matte. Graphic style is a Velux Pearl. This one is Heavy, Black, and Pendulous, a Frost, and Carbon is a Matte. So we got two mattes, a Velux Pearl, and three Frosts. But if you look at the MAC Frosts, they're really, really, really not very frosty. I mean, you don't see, you could see my swatch on this one. You don't really see a lot of heavy, you know what I'm talking about, frosting. So anyway, let's swatch a few. We all know what carbon looks like. Let's do Blackberry. This is the matte, the other matte in the collection. Very pigmented, I have to say. And that's Blackberry. Uh, which one is the Velux Pearl? Graphic style. This is the Velux Pearl, so let's swatch that one. And you can see it is a definitely a little bit more shiny than most. And that is graphic. You can see the shine to it. It's like a gray, medium grayish, but it almost looks shines brown sometimes. It may have a little bit of a duochrome to it, but yeah, it's gray, but it flashes brown. Look at that. It's a duochrome. And let's do this one, which is um, heavy, black, and pendulous. This is a frost. Ooh, it's really pigmented, too. It's not quite a black, it's not quite, it's, a little, it's like on a gray side, but much darker than this one. So those are just a few of the swatches from the MAC 
six pan palette from the Rocky collection. I was honestly very surprised that this was still available online and even days after the collection came out the eyeshadow pan was still available which shocks me because I figured that would have been among the first things to go along with the lipsticks but honestly it wasn't so hey good for me I was able to pick it up but anyway that is what I've got from my haul at MAC so now we can move on to what I picked up at Sephora now remember this is over some time it's not like all in one so the first few things I'm really not going to go too much into they're not a very exciting this is living proof thickening cream helps thicken up your hair not that I really need thickening but I did have gastric bypass surgery in 2006 and over the years you know you don't absorb food properly you don't get enough nutrients and you know your hair does fall out but thankfully I had enough hair to start with I had more than enough so I still have quite a bit of hair but you know I figured I would give it a try and help plump it up a little bit so and I love the way the living proof hair care smells it smells so good so along with the living proof thickening cream I bought the restore shampoo and conditioner what it's sulfate free safe and formulated for color and chemical treated hair it restores um, moisture improves manageability and cleanses dirt from hair without stripping oil so can't wait to try these and they again smell delicious I also got clear days ahead and I'm sure you've seen this in many of my other Sephora hauls it is my facial scrub that I use in the shower it has salicylic acid in it and like I've said before I don't suffer from acne but I do suffer from breakouts from heavy-duty moisturizers because I do have dry skin so I have to use some pretty heavy moisture and uh, sometimes the perfume in it or if it's too emollient it will cause a breakout so I always wash with a salicylic acid wash so it keeps me from breaking out so I got a refill on that I also bought the bare minerals extra firming neck cream and it's really just a neck cream it's um, adorable packaging though it says love your neck again love Leslie and Leslie is the creator of bare essentials and it just looks like this it's just a plain white cream um, doesn't have any smell to it this will be my first time trying it so I'm looking forward to not that I have any neck issues I mean I've lost a lot in here and my neck has slimmed down but um, it's never too early to prevent so all you young girls out there prevention is the key I also got a sample of the flower bomb perfume I don't um I didn't I've never smelled it before oh it smells pretty nice yeah it's like one of those little bottle samples I figured I would give it a try I don't like to buy online perfumes because you never know what you're gonna get so I figured it was a free sample so went with it I also got the Dior show mascara comes in a packaging like this oh, it's kind of shiny it's gonna be hard to see Dior show and it has a big old brush I'll tell you that huge brush but everybody raves about this Dior show so I wanted to give it a try I'm not one to buy high-end mascara because after three months you throw sixty dollars or I don't know what this cost I doubt it was sixty but you throw however much you spend out so I usually um, use drugstore mascaras and I have a whole load of them over there but it's all the rave so I treated myself to a high-end mascara we'll see I also got Hellbent which is the new Kat Von D lipstick and it's in the studded packaging it's the studded lipsticks and I wanted to try one of her lipsticks so I got the color Hellbent and it's adorable I mean look at the packaging all these little studs how cute right and it is red it is your typical red I figured for the holidays it would be good let me swatch it for you 
It's a little on the orangey side, but not too bad. Very creamy, very opaque. So if I like them, I might pick up some more. So that is Hellbent Kat Von D Studded Lip Kiss Lipstick. And the reason why I bought like that stuff that I just showed you was because <laughs> I needed my refill of my NARS Creamy, what is this, the Creamy, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I love this stuff and it's, I use the shade Custard. So that stuff that I bought was because of the need for concealer. A little much, right? But anyway, moving on, moving forward. I didn't buy this all at once, mind you, either. Now we have the 20% off coupons for the VIBs, so I did use that for some of this stuff. And I did pick up uh, a few of the Christmas packaging stuff. And the first collection I got is the Under the Mistletoe. Isn't this adorable packaging? This is from Too Faced. And in this little box comes this little tiny glittery makeup bag. And it's got a little ball on it, a little Christmas ball. On it. It's already open. But isn't that adorable? And I'm surprised they did pink because I figured for Christmas they would either do red or green or Anyway, inside the package comes three of their La Creme lipsticks. And these three are already existing in their permanent line, but the thing with these is, is that they're the shimmering version. So I will explain. This one is called Naked Dolly, but it's called, you're not going to be able to see it. It's called Shimmering Naked Dolly. So the regular Naked Dolly looks just like this. It's a nude but this has high shimmer in it and actually has a gold shimmer to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it if you turn it towards the light, but you can see it has a lot of gold shimmer. The original Naked Dolly is more like a matte, a creamy matte color. So these three have shimmer. The next one is Spice Spice Baby or Shimmering Spice Spice Baby. And again, it looks just like Spice Spice Baby, but when you swatch it, it's got a lot of, this one looks like it has some gold reflex in it too. So this is Spice Spice Baby. And so if you like frosty, shimmery lipsticks, you'll love this collection. I'm not even sure if it's still available. I bought these so long ago. And this one is a Shimmering Marshmallow Bunny, and it looks just like its counterpart, Marshmallow Bunny. It's this baby pink, but when you swatch it, it's got high shine, lots of frost. And you see right here, it's very pink. So that are the, those, that, that are, those are the three lipsticks that come in the Under the Mistletoe Christmas Collection. Adorable, great gift for somebody. Next, I picked up the Tarte Sweet Dreams palette. This is the uh, Pin Up Girl blush palette. It comes in a box like this. And the packaging looks like this. And on the front of the packaging, it has, as you can see, um, these little pins. I'll pull them off. It's, uh, they're kind of... I don't want to take this one off. It's hard to get off, but you can see they're bobby pins. They're bobby pins with pearls, and this one has little rhinestones. Honestly, it could have done without them. Um, wasn't necessary for the palette. And I'll just tell you one other thing I don't like about the palette before I open it is the size. It is huge. It is like a clutch. Like a clutch pocketbook. It's got the little button that you push, and it opens. Well... It's supposed to open. Okay. It opens. It's got the little clutch button. I could have done without this huge packaging. Um, I figured, you know, I mean, it's sturdy and all, and it's puffy and soft, but last year's palette, which I did not get, and I'm sorry I didn't get, was a lot more streamlined and I think a little bit better for travel. But I digress. I got this one. So when you open it up, you have a huge mirror here. Hello. 
And over here you have your five blushes. And as Tarte always has, they have a sheet with the names on it. Why Tarte can't put names on the palette, I'll never know. So anyway, I will go over each of the colors. It's kind of dusty, but anyway, because I swatched them before. Let me get the paper right. Okay, so this one is called Breathless, and you can see it's like a peachy nude color. And it is matte, and it is not easy to see, I'll tell you that. It's pretty much my skin tone. You're not going to really see it. The next one is called Embraced, and it is this rosy color right here. And this one looks like it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Yeah, you could see the shine. And let's swatch this one here. What's going on with the swatches, Tart? That one, not too pigmented. That one's embraced. The middle one is whimsy, and you can see it's like a baby pink. And this one is on the matte side. So let's swatch this one. No, oh, this one's got definitely more pigment to it. You can see whimsy, definitely pink. The next one is Bashful, and you can tell it's more along the orangey side. And this is Bashful, definitely matte. Ooh, very, as you can see, chalky. <laughs> very chalky. This is Bashful. And the last one is more like a terracotta kind of rosy terracotta color, and it is called Irreplaceable. So swatch this one. This one's got a little, oh, don't want to, not flash into the finger. This one definitely has a little bit of a shine to it. This one, oh, this one's nicely pigmented. This one is Irreplaceable. So the first two here really weren't that pigmented, but the rest of it kind of made a good showing for Tarte there. So that is the Pinup Girl Sweet Dreams, whatever it is, two different names. The box says Sweet Dreams, as you can see here, the back of the box says Sweet Dreams, and the back of this palette, which you won't be able to see down here where the wording is, says Pinup Girl. So whether it's a sweet dream or it's a pinup girl, I don't know. So that was Tarte's holiday blush collection. The next item I have is Too Faced's Everything Nice set. And that comes in a box like this. I missed out on their palette last year, Too Faced. I was so upset. I got the every uh, Joy to the Girls one, but I did not get the, um, what was it called? What was that one called? Not Joy to the Girls. It was, uh, I forget. Whatever it was, I missed out on that big palette last year. So this comes with a Better Than Sex mascara, Too Faced. It also comes with another glittery bag very glittery and it says Too Faced on it and it's got a little ball on the top so it's basically so you can store your um, eyeshadow palette in it I guess for travel but I probably won't because the glitter will be all over my clothes so why they have those glitter bags I don't know anyway on the back of the box you get what is in the box and all the shadows that are in there and then this is what your palette looks like. Very nice packaging. The back as well. All decorated pretty with Christmas balls. And the inside, when you open it, it is kind of thick. I think it was thicker than last year's palette. But when you open it, it has all these goodies in there. Thankfully, I could throw that away because there's no names on it. Tarte does put the names of their eyeshadows on here I am absolutely in love with this color right here oh my god look at it it's beautiful and then down here they have two blushes a highlighter and the chocolate soleil bronzer so yes and it smells just like chocolate 
And over here it has three brushes, which I'll probably never use, and behind the brushes, um, it's kind of hard doing that that way, but behind the brushes, as you can see, it has, it says everything nice, it has look cards, you can, looks that you can create with this palette. Uh, but what's really cute is, is that the, even the brushes are all glittery gold, so adorable. So let's swatch. What am I? Oh, running short on time. I shall swatch my favorite color right here. And this is called Too Glam. Look at that. Bam. Oh my God. <gasps> Gorgeous. Oh, I love, love, love that color. Oh, that is the most beautiful blue, dark teal I've ever seen. Oh. This one over here is marvelous. This one's almost like a plummy, like a little bit of a taupey plummy color. Beautiful. Oh my God, this palette's gorgeous. Oh, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do. To uh, totally fetch is in the uh, bad as in their other palette. Let's do something we don't know. Live it up. This purple right here. Oh my God, beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I could sit here and swatch every one of them, but I'll be here forever. But, and the blushes down here, they have Sweet Pink, Papa Don't Peach, and Inner Light. These are so pretty. That's Papa Don't Peach here. And uh, this one is Sweet Pink. Absolutely beautiful. Blushes are kind of hard to see on my hands, my skin tone. And that's sweet pink. Very nicely done. Beautiful palette. I'm so glad I picked this one up. I didn't wait like last time, so I missed out on it, so I did get it. So happy. Uh, and I do have one final thing to show you. This final thing I have to show you from this haul is not related to Sephora. It's just something that I picked up because I saw it on the BH Cosmetics website. And it is the new Dark Rose palette. You can see the skull here. I think they're trying to get like, um, almost like uh, that tattoo packaging looking stuff. Maybe almost like Kat Von D or... Um, what's that other one? I can't remember, but they're getting a little risque with their packaging, branching out to a whole nother group of people. So anyway, this is an eyeshadow and blush palette. And again, this little thing is attached, but you don't need it because it doesn't have any names anyway. So on the inside here, it says create beauty as you uh, create beauty as art and let others see your own kind of beautiful. Isn't that cool? And the inside is all done with skulls and roses and up my biker alley, I'll tell you that. So it comes with, uh, let's see, one, 12 shadows. Am I in frame? 12 shadows and three blushes across here and it also comes with a right in this spot a BH cosmetic I believe it's a if I can get it out Lord me and packaging just don't get along it is the BH liquid it is their liquid um, eyeliner I'll swatch it Ooh, that's really black very nice very black I guess the dog got bored so anyway, it comes with all these colors. Isn't that pretty? Let's swatch a few of them, shall we? All right, so let's swatch this pink one right here. This has got some shimmer in it. And that one's kind of hard to see. Why do I pick all the colors that are hard to see? Yeah, that one's very light. Um, 
Let's do this black sparkly one right here. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost like a charcoal with sparkles. Can you see the sparkles? Yes, you can. Oh, it does transfer. Nice. Uh, this dark purple one right here. Ooh, look at that. Very pigmented. Oh, that's a pretty color. Gorgeous. Awesome job, BH Cosmetics. And let's just do this bright pink right here. Very, very nice. Awesome. For the most part, they're pretty pigmented. A little chalky, but not bad. Very nice. The Dark Rose Palette. BH Cosmetics. I think it's up on their site now. Very nice. Really like that one. So now for the surprise. Um, when I put my... MAC order in. I don't know what happened, but I got sent two Living Legend lipsticks. So I have an extra Living Legend lipstick and I also have an extra Dark Rose palette. So as my gift to you in this season of Thanksgiving for being so thankful for my subbies, new, old, and subbies to come, I am going to be doing a giveaway of these two items. Someone will be the lucky winner of the Living Legend lipstick, and someone will be the lucky winner of the Dark Rose BH Cosmetic Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. So, how do you win? I'm going to have the rules down below. Um, what you have to do is, I want you to comment once a day on which item you, or what you are thankful for since this is a thankful time of year I want you to write what you're thankful for and which item you would like to win so you could state I am thankful for my family whatever blah 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 and then say I would like to win the dark rose or the living legend lipstick so you can comment once a day this will be um, posted live when this goes live you'll have 10 days which I will pick a winner on November 30th at midnight. So that's Sunday, November 30th. Uh, and I will announce it on my Facebook page. Um, I don't like to do um, message, um, message contact because so many people out there are scamming everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it on my Curvy Girl Makeup page. You need to be 18 years or older or have your parents permission. You have to be, of course, a subscriber of my channel. And you have to, you don't have to, but it's follow me on as many uh, social media sites as you have. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And also share this video. Um, this video is in a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers um, to show that the beauty community on YouTube can unite and we're not separate and we're not in it for ourselves, but we are a community of people who are here to help others find their artistic side through makeup. So, <clears throat> in the description below will also be um, the link to wings original video uh, introducing all of the youtubers so you can find them and find their channels and subscribe to them as well so that is this entire video i'm sure it's like a hundred hours long and i'm sorry i made you sit that long but i'm so grateful for you anyway i hope you enjoyed Please don't forget to get involved in the giveaway. It's my thank you to being a follow, faithful followers. And don't forget to check out all the other YouTubers in this collaboration. Um, some of them are well known. Some of them are not so well known, like myself. But, you know, we're all here in it together. And um, show them some love this holiday season. Okay? So yeah, hope you enjoyed, and uh, remember, beauty does come in all sizes, shapes, and forms, and it doesn't matter what you look like, it matters who you are inside, and the beauty that you portray from in here and in your heart. Remember that.
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Like nobody else. The way that you flip your head gets me overwhelmed. The way you smile at the ground, it ain't hard to tell.